peacocks, bitch. What's up everyone? Hope you're having a great day today. And I got my buddy here with his 350. He is currently out there washing it right now with my foam cam. Why do you have a mannequin head in your car? <laughs> I really have no idea. He's cleaning out his 350 and he has a fucking mannequin head. No, I do not want that. Why not? Cut the hole out of the mouth and keep it for yourself. You cut the... Do you want to show him your squishy thing too? You want some toilet paper? No, I don't want toilet paper either. Is that from a hotel? A fucking hotel toilet paper? What are you doing with your life? Funny thing is, I've never been out of town with this car. <laughs> But I want to show you all what the uh, headlights do. They, they look pretty cool. So if we press the power and turn them on, ka -chow, look at that, it's orange, just like the truck. I mean, honestly, you can change it to like whatever color you want. Like there's cyan, blue, purple, yellow, period stain. So yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Like it, like I love how those projectors look in there. It looks badass. Did a killer job on those. Y'all really gotta watch the video. Alrighty then. Well, it's uh, Quake used my shit and wash his car so now he's gone and my hair is fucked up oh well um it's getting kind of cold out here uh, i haven't started on my light on my truck yet uh, i'm gonna be doing that soon all right guys so as i said in the beginning of this video there is a giveaway and this giveaway is sponsored by oxbeam uh, oxbeam was nice enough to send me these lights out and although it wasn't like a mod i was planning on doing um, that was nice enough to hook me up and I definitely think it's going to look awesome on the ricer truck But better than that, like I said, we're doing a giveaway and it's sponsored by Oxbeam And you have a chance to win one of these 12 inch light bars that we are installing today And uh, all you have to do is click the link in the description Complete the actions and you'll be entered for the giveaway and if you aren't chosen uh, as the winner, and you would still like one of these, they are actually having a sale on Amazon on these. The link to that will also be down in the description, so check that out. But this is not going on the Reister truck. This is going on my sister's truck, which you saw a long time ago. And uh, we're putting this on there, along with two pods. And uh, then we're putting the other light bar that I showed you earlier in the video on my truck. So we're getting stuff prepped on this truck right now. And uh, sh we should be uh, drilling and getting stuff started soon. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the uh, light bar and both the pods installed. And I know I didn't show a whole lot of it, uh, mainly because it was slow and tedious uh, putting them in that bull bar. And I doubt anyone wants to see a montage of us putting bolts and shit and twisting wires. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like while they're off. Then we'll pull it around and you all can see how bright it is shining in the field. So here is what it ended up looking like. Um, we were just gonna put the bar in the middle, but whoever put the old lights in put some big holes. Uh, we have them covered up right now. But they drilled massive holes for those old lights, and uh, we needed something to cover the space up. So we put two spot beams that are also from aux beam. But this is the light bar we initially were going to install. So basically, if you have this light bar on your truck, or if you have a car, I think they look pretty cool on cars sometimes too. Um, if someone has their brights on, you can turn these on. And be like, howdy, bitch. And hope it's not a uh, state patrol. Holy shit, those are bright. All right, so I think I'm partially blind now. Um, 
Damn, I am looking good. I must be half blind. Um, but we're going to back this out and I'll show you all what it looks like in the field. Um, and yeah, y'all can decide if you want some. If you have like a riced out Civic or just something you want to add a little extra light to if you live out in the country like we do, then I think definitely a great addition. So this is what the normal headlights look. And this is the light bar. As you can see, you get a lot a lot more light output, obviously. And you can't tell it, but there's some trees way back in there you can see in person too. We got Husky over there being noisy. But yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to use them on the road, but I think it'd be pretty funny to bright light someone who's been a complete asshole. All right guys, so now is the time that we probably do the most riciest mod to the ricer truck so far. I know it already has the uh, LED lights underneath of it, but we're going to be throwing this bad boy on it. And this is also from Oxbeam, like I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, they sent me out some lights and are doing a giveaway for you, so make sure to check them out if it's something you're interested in. So this is sort of how the light bar is going to sit. Now, I know this is a straight bar, and I wish I could have got a curved, but Oxbeam didn't carry a curved single row like this that I wanted and this one had like the perfect width and everything. Yes, a curved one would have looked better, but I think it's gonna look just fine how it is. But that's pretty well how it's gonna sit right there. I just obviously gotta take the towels out of there, put those there so I wouldn't mess the paint up. So a little problem we ran into is these brackets aren't long enough to bridge the gap to where I need to put it in back there. So I got these from another set of lights that I got from Oxbeam. And I'm gonna to have to use this just because it's longer. Um, but I'll basically cut one of these corners off here and then stick it back in there like that. And just imagine this gone, it'll be kind of like an L-shaped bracket. So we're gonna get, uh, start mocking this up. I think this is the first thing we're gonna to need to do. We're gonna to need to cut this and hopefully we should get it in there without any issues. Hey, get your ass back to work, Husky. She does not fucking like me right now. <laughs> Got one done. Got the second one. Oh shit! That was hot. All right, guys. So the uh, brackets took a little extra modifying that I did off camera, and we already got everything put in. I just went and did it off camera because I was like working late and really tired, and I was just wanting to get it done. As you can see, if that's going to focus, it is six o'clock. That's a.m. So. Um, I didn't get the switch or anything ran yet. Uh, I'll just do that on my own time. I just wanted to get the light bar in and I ran a couple wires up here just to put on my negative and positive battery, term battery terminal posts. Damn it, it's too late. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna pull it outside. I'll hook those up and you all can see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's starting to get daylight. So pull my truck out here. It's really foggy out this morning. I was wanting to make sure to get this done before it got daylight, just so y'all could see it. We done had too much of this fizzy. Waves all in my Remy. Call the Uber, come get me. Crunk, she coming with me, yeah. Let's get lost right now. All right guys, so like the previous video, I once again forgot to do an outro, um, but overall, I think the light bar turned out good. And some of you in the last video is wondering about my weight loss progress. Um, so far, I've lost roughly 60 pounds since February 8th. So that's all going well, and I appreciate your all support. And yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll catch you all later. Run